everyone. My name is Ornella. Remember that moment when we all tried to fit in just so we could be accepted? In school, we see a bunch of friends that gather up and then we try to pick the one that looks cool to join. Well, imagine that being not only being punished, I mean, pushed away by each and every one, but also being teased by and bullied. Why? Only because they're because they feel like you're nothing like them and you're far far in your own world. Today I'm here to discuss um, gay bullying, how it can be harmful and how teachers should take action. Students are not aware that bullying that bullying one, one another can be very harmful. According to the Anti-Bullying Network, it has been proven that through researches that students are being bullied by their peers. The teachers may be aware or not, but they affect the students just as if they have been physical, physically abused. It comes in different forms. It could be either a threat, a no, or a look is enough to scare the victim and distract them from focusing on school. In other words, bullying can occur anyhow, whether it is done for the whole public to see or only addressed to the victim and can affect one's learning ability, just like this. It could cause distress, sadness, or any other devastating emotion. Okay. Now that we know how harmful bullying could be, let's see how it affects one in certain school responsible. Well, federal investigators are looking into accusations that Minnesota's largest school district discriminates against gay students following seven student suicides in fewer than two years. Four of those students were either gay, believed to be gay, or questioning their sexuality. At least two of them reportedly have been bullied because of their orientation. The Justice Department and the Civil Rights Office of the Board of Education are scrutinizing oh, the Anoka Hennepin School that. District. Here's why. School policy mandates that staffers remain neutral on matters regarding sexual orientation. And that Sorry. such matters are best addressed within individual family homes. I told people not to put videos in the middle of their speeches. So when we had our meetings, I said, do not put videos in your speeches. I want to hear a speech. I don't want to see a video. All right, so I'll keep it going. All right. Teachers um, should take actions in this matter. Teachers should help students gain the, the knowledge, skills, and values in order to develop non-bullying behavior. Taking part of classroom activities or school-wide activities about anti-bullying, anti-gay bullying, activities such as GSA clubs to bring the student community closer, school-wide projects such as gay bullying, school-wide projects about gay bullying, to help students understand each and every aspect. This should encourage students to speak up when bullied. According to the gay, to the anti-gay bullying network, bullying cannot be stopped dis despite how open-eyed the teacher may be. Students need to be taught within classroom that bullying is wrong and can be discussed with others, mostly teachers. They need to be aware of how the teachers may react to bullying if it does occur. They must know that they do not need to worry. Everything will be taken care of. Gay bullying affects one really badly. 
schools are not doing enough to keep the victims safe or prevent bullying. It is necessary for schools to help out in this situation because its consequences are heartbreaking, as seen in the video, which I didn't show. Students should be thought about it. It will lower the rate of crime.